That totally worked. Um, Boom and Joe. Charlie's foot. Oh. Hey guys. It occurs to me that I don't need to pause the recording every time, but I want to because I know that half the time this stuff isn't going to go well anyway. But regardless of that, it's also because... Wait a minute. Ah! Charlie, you are stupid. I think I figured what, I, what I'm doing wrong. I see the Goomba, which directs my eyes to the right, which then see the coins, and make me automatically run into Charlie's foot. Again. But yeah, I think that's what the trick is there. Because if that Goomba weren't there, immediately causing me to, uh, jar my reaction, I would say, oh, um, here's a P-switch. I remember the two sets of coins shaping a door, one here and one underneath splitting Charlie. However, because firstly, that immediate Goomba and the paying attention to the Boo Circle causes me to lose my focus, and then I see the B, the uh, what you call it, the um, coin thing, which causes me to go okay. And thus, I want to always... Did it make a difference which one of those two doors I took? I hope not. Well, I'll find out off camera, I suppose, after I deal with one of these exits. Gotta be annoying. Alright, so, I've got one of two possibilities here. I want to try something. No! Guys, I'm calling a rewind on that. I'm sorry that was stupid because my freaking controller sucks. Anyway, I'm not considering that tool assist because I knew what I wanted to do and my controller did otherwise. So, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. That's the problem with doors like that. But, we've got a springboard here and there's... Charlie over there. Here's two springboards here, and if I put that there, can I do this right? Alright, I gotta move that key. I don't think so. I'm wrong, aren't I? I just screwed myself either way. Okay. I was trying to get the springboard on that ledge so I could double springboard up, but I don't think there was anything up there, was there? There's a P. So, does it matter? Well, obviously, I wanted to put the P here. Um... This is clearly much easier. Alright. Yay, Charlie in the random keyhole. That worked very well. Actually, that went out. That went pretty decently. Anyway, I'll. Actually, I don't think I should pause it again, despite the fact that I have to cover like a whole screen's worth of progress, but I don't really think it's really necessary to do so, because it's really not that big a deal to get back there. See, I'm already there already in another second. I guess it is those two blue doors that make the difference. Alright, so there's Charlie in the midpoint, and I really don't no. Going through the door. Alright, can't burn you there, so let's burn him and then burn Charlie too.
Bye, Charlie. You're kinda dead. It's pretty great. You, please split. Thank you very much. Ow! You're a jerk, you know that? Boo, circle, and smug guy Johnson on the ends, McCain. Hit it and rush in the door. Ah! He didn't go in the door. One minute. Back here, guys. So we've got this thing here. And the music just restarted, so there was no point in that. Oh, so then the act, the split in the road is actually the split in the road. Wow, that took a long time to figure out, didn't it? All right, so. Get out of my face, you stupid goomba. I don't like you very much. Charlie, you'll kill me if I don't go fast. Okay, so, enough karaoke night. Charlie, you annoying guy, get out of my pie. Turned into a coin. <laughs> and that's pretty great, actually. So, what I guess I want to do is something along these lines. Sit and bounce, and hey, Koopa buddy, you're kinda up there. Let me guess. Where'd the shell go? He just despawned. Oh, I'm not gonna complain. 40. <laughs> Some sort of place type object. Well. Considering that P switch, the P places, switch palaces, are usually um, actual levels, I think we're going to cut this video off here. This has been Kazuma, guys, with your extra supplemental daily dosage. I'll catch you guys later.